and so um, the search part of that. I mean, what's yeah. it like starting a company that's kind of trying to compete with big giants such as Google? For Competing example? with big giants is a bad idea and should be avoided. I mean, the problem for a little startup, whether you're doing this in the 80s or 90s, in which case every single startup had to worry about, well, what's Microsoft going to do? Today, it's a different question. You do a startup, and the question is, well, is Google doing this? Might they do this? Can you take advantage of what Google is doing? So one of the things that we learned in doing Foxmarks, case in point, is our first thought about what we could do with all these bookmarks is to build a specialized search engine, not to do all searches, but to do what we call topic search. So if you're interested in a subject, it could be kiteboarding or uh, 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 arthritis or, I mean, you name it, but, but a subject that has some real aboutness to it, as opposed to a factoid, which is an answer to a particular question. Um, Foxmarks lets you find, not the, not the public product that's out there, but this prototype that we built and tested privately, the best websites on that subject, and it actually finds a different and, in many cases, better set than, than Google, which is not optimized for that problem. The issue was when we tested it, is if you package it up to look anything like a search engine, the behavior and expectations are such these days that if you don't do everything that search engines do, people aren't interested. So mm -hmm. we learned a real lesson, which is that the productization has to take a different path so it won't be confused. And there are, there are plenty of things uh, uh, to be done about that, but I want to maintain a little element of surprise till we actually put something out.